is that words have power. Power to build up and power to tear down. So we must be careful of what we speak out of our mouths because words have power. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. And the second part of this verse says, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. And what this means, let me give you an example of what this part of the verse is saying. When a person is arrested, I don't know, I ain't never been arrested, but this is what I have heard, that they are given their Miranda warning. And the first part of it says, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in the court of law. So in other words, if you love to talk, be careful of the words that you say out of your mouth because words produce fruit. And you will have to eat the fruit that they produce, whether they are sweet or bitter. Words produce fruit. Jesus said, it is not what goes into the mouth of a man that defiles him or make him unclean, but it is what goes out of the mouth of a man that makes him unclean because he is speaking that which is in his heart. Words have power. God spoke the world into existence. He said, let there be and there was. And we who are made in the image of God, our words have power also. Adam named every cattle, every bird in the air, every beast in the field, and whatever Adam called them, that's what they were. Words have your words can build someone up. It can put a smile on their face. It can encourage them. It can motivate them to be better, to do better. It can strengthen their hearts. It can lift their spirits. And your words can tear a person down. It can discourage them. It can break their hearts. It can make them cry. Your words can even kill their dreams. Words have power, church. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. So we have to be careful of what we say or what we speak out of our mouths. We are believers of Jesus Christ. And we have been called to walk in the ways of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And if we have been called to walk in the ways of the Lord, we also must talk in the ways of the Lord. Mm -hmm. We must walk by faith uh -huh. and we must talk by faith. God has called us to change the way we walk, and he has also called us to change the way we talk, because words have power, power to build up and power to tear down. So we must, we must be careful of what we say out of our mouth. It is a crying shame to hear a believer speak gloom and doom out of their mouths. 
It is a sad case that every time you talk to a believer of Jesus Christ, who is the most high God, and everything come out of their mouths is death, gloom and doom. They say things like, I can't, I don't believe that I'm going to make it. I don't think that I'm going to be able to come out of this. I don't see how I'm going to get through this. I don't believe that God is going to ever send me a husband. I don't believe that I will ever get a job. It is a sad thing for a believer to speak death and not life out of their mouths. Being that they are followers of Jesus Christ, who is the most high God, who has everything in the palm of his hands to speak death over yourself. It's a sad situation. Your words, if you can speak something out of your mouth enough times, that it will become your reality. Remember, we just read that the word, that uh, your word produced fruit. And you may have to, or you will have to eat the fruit that they produce. So if you say out of your mouth enough time, I can't make it, you will find yourselves not being able to make it. Words have power. When I was in elementary school, my teacher used to always say, don't say you can't, but say you can. And I, I did not understand why she used to always say it. It, it didn't register to me as a child. But she used to always tell us, don't let the word I can't be a part of your vocabulary. I did not understand it then, but I do understand it now. Because words have power. So I come to encourage you, the church, to speak life over yourselves and not death. Speak life over yourselves because words have power. So how, how do you speak life over yourselves? I'm glad you asked. Now let me tell you. There is only one way that you can speak life over your sales. Let me have my one and only point. It's already up there. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, that's Tasha over there. The only way that you can speak life over your sales, church, is that you have to be rooted and built up in Jesus Christ, the Word of God, and established in the faith because the word of God is life. Amen. Amen. Come on, let me, let me show you all what I'm talking about. Come on and go with me in John 663. Speak life over yourself. John 6, 6, 3 says, It is the spirit that quickened it. The flesh profited nothing. The words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The word of God is God's spirit and the word of God is life. Come on and go with me to Proverbs 4 and 20. 
for 2022. I'm like, Bishop, we gonna get somewhere here in a minute. <laughs> Let's look at Proverbs 4.20. It says, my son, attend to my words. Incline thy ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thy eyes. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. For they are life unto those that find them. And health to all their flesh. So the word of God is life to those who has received them in their heart. And they are life. Though they are health, healing to the whole body. So the word of God is life to those who has them in their hearts. And they are healing to their whole body. Mm -hmm. Come on and go with me to Matthew 12 and 34. Matthew 12 and 34. It says, O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So what's ever in your heart, that's what will come out of your mouth. Amen? So, in order for you to speak life over yourselves, you must have the word of God rooted and grounded inside of you, which is life in order for you to speak life over yourself. Somebody missed that. Let me say that one more time. In order for you to speak life, which is the word of God, which is life, over yourselves, is that you have to have it deep down in your heart. Because out of the heart, the mouth speaks. So if you don't have the word of life in your heart, you will not be able to speak life over yourselves. You will not be able to speak what you don't have. You will not be able to speak life over yourselves because if it's not in you, you can't speak something that's not in you. You will not be able to say that I am the head and not the tail. I am a bull and not belief. You will not be able to say that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. You won't be able to say, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You won't be able to say that I am more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ who loves me. You won't be able to say that I was young and now I'm old. And I never the righteous forsaken by his seed begging bread. You won't be able to say I'm fearfully and I'm wonderfully made. You won't be able to say that with his stripes I am healed. If the word of God is not in you, you won't be able to speak life over your sin. The word of 
over yourself. Let me tell you something about the Word of God. For the Word of God is power in the Word of God. For the Word of God in the beginning there was the Word and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. And the Word